Hi everyone, my name is Chris Cadet. I'm the chef for the Kidney Foundation of Canada. Today we're going to be making a warm falafel wrap, very healthy, um, can be used for lunch or supper, um, either or. Uh, can be served with a garden salad, fruit salad, uh, double boiled french fries, anything like that. Um, really good, healthy, plant-based option. So, we are going to start with the chickpeas. So there's 400 grams of chickpeas that go in the food processor. Okay. We are also going to add a quarter of an onion. So these are chopped. Um, they just go right in. The garlic cloves as well. They go in whole, peeled whole, just go right in there. Uh, same with the parsley, okay? This is 10 grams of parsley that goes in. The recipe will be available as well, so don't worry about the, uh, the measurements and all that. We uh, will have the recipe for you. Then, the harissa paste, or you can use sriracha, chili flakes, anything to give it a kick. Um, totally optional, of course, if you don't like spice, by all means, you can leave that out. So that goes in. So the one teaspoon of coriander and the one teaspoon of cumin goes in there. Wonderful fragrant spices. That all goes in there. As well as flour, okay? This helps to bind everything together. Um, it'll help without, you know, it'll help the product not crumble so much. So add a couple teaspoons first. Then you're gonna pulse it, okay, until it binds. You don't want it pureed smooth. You want it a bit chunky to have a bit of texture. The last ingredient that goes in it will be tahini. So tahini is a sesame seed paste, basically. Um, really nice flavor, really nice smell to it. Really earthy umami flavors. So that'll go in there. Just some lemon juice, okay, half of a lemon. Squeeze that in there. So again, you're gonna pulse it. Sticks to the side, that's fine. Just open that up, get that down. Okay. Just like so. Pulse it again. Okay. Again, you just want to bind it. It's pretty, pretty good there now, nice and pureed. Take this mixture and you want to mix it, put it in a mixing bowl. So now that's ready to go, we are going to take the frying pan, put it on medium, should be okay. Okay, we're going to heat that up. 
Then we're going to take our olive oil and heat that up. Okay. So we'll heat this up. Then what we want to do is create some patties, okay? So we can stuff the tortilla or the pita. So what I've done with the pita is I've cut this in half, and then I've taken off a little strip from one of the sides. So when we take it, we want to put the small one in there, okay, stuff it. And then that gives you more of a durable shell to work with, and then you stuff it with you know, your patties, all the garnishes that will come with it. So that'll be ready to go. So again, you want to get this popped. Take your hands, get in there, create some patties, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get them round, okay? Probably around that size. Okay, just a small little patty. Go right in there. I would do four. Um, uh, two is plenty for one. Again, this recipe called it's for two people. So you'll have plenty. Plenty left over. <clears throat> All right. So that'll sear. I'm just going to go wash my hands and then we'll continue. Okay, so we are just going to flip these patties. Okay. Like so. I've turned the heat down to low. And we'll just get that cooked through. While that's cooking, we are going to chop some garlic and make a aioli for the dressing. So you're going to want to chop the garlic fairly fine. So this is basically mayonnaise with chopped up garlic and a little bit of skim milk to dilute it. So it can be drizzled right on top of the wrap. Okay. Well, that's done. This will go in our bowl with the mayonnaise and the skim milk is in there. Our garlic. That half of lemon that we had, we're going to zest it and then juice it in the aioli. So we'll just use a bit of zest. And then squeeze that juice right out. Done. Um, I turn the 
stove off or the, the burner off. Um, so they're just sitting there, staying warm the way we like it. And now it's time to serve. So take your pita, like I said, take the smaller one and then just put it right in that pocket there, okay? So I double it up. You want to take your patty, put it in there, okay? Then you can do anything with it, okay? So here what we have are uh, some sliced red onions, okay? Very finely chopped red onions. Uh, some Boston lettuce. This is really nice. Um, I love this. You can get this anywhere, okay? It's just a local grocery, a grocery smart grocery department. So then what you want to do is just stuff this, okay? with this lettuce. Get some red onions in there, sliced red onions. Okay, and you can add sliced cucumbers. You can add really anything to it. Okay. Then, drizzle of aioli that we made. So just want to add that to that. And there we go. Warm falafel wrap, really healthy, uh, you know, vegan without the aioli, of course, uh, with a bit of milk in there. Um, but again, very simple, very healthy, plant-based. Um, you can do it, anyone on uh, dialysis or with anyone with uh, kidney disease, um, I know what you're going through. Um, I've had a transplant before, and um, I'm on dialysis right now, so I know the difficulty um, of cooking especially so I'm here to help, and hopefully we can do a lot more of these uh, cooking shows, um, and maybe in class, uh, cook, you know, cooking as well.